welcome to my video. My name is Leah Love and this is Beauty with Love. If you're new here, I'm so glad that you found my channel. My channel is all about beauty. Anything and everything really that has to do with it. Nails, hair, skin care, makeup, of course. You know, anything really. If you like the look that I created with my eyes, my peacocky kind of vibey eyes, peacocky, maybe Mardi gras -y, Mardi gras -y type of eyes. If you like them, go ahead and stick around. If you like this whole look with the foundation and everything, if you like this look that I created today, go ahead and stick around and I will be completely barefaced in three, two, one. All right, like I said, I am completely barefaced and we're gonna try to just break this down, this entire video down and just get it going. As you can tell, my eyes are still very glassy and I am still sick. I am better than I was, but yeah, I didn't post on Friday with the Freaky Friday and the um, fun little Halloween-y type thing. I'll try to do an extra one this week sometime. Um, if my health holds up right now, it is just no fun. But let's go ahead and dive into the video. Um, I am shopping my stash as usual and I have never used my primer by It Cosmetics. I know, I know. I can hear y'all like, what? You haven't tried this primer out? This is the Bye Bye Pores Primer, Poreless Skin Perfecting Serum Primer by It Cosmetics. I'm sure it has a load of benefits because it's It Cosmetics. Anti-aging and skin loving Moroccan, Moroccan lava clay, colloidal clay, purifying charcoal, papaya fruit extract, peptides and collagen, hyaluronic acid. I never say that right hyaluronic acid that's how you're actually supposed to say it that's like hydrating when you hear hyaluronic think it's like skip the acid part and think just like hydrating 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 you know how you can buy a little bottle hydrating that's what it is okay it's hydration it's draws in the hydration okay developed with plastic surgeons and dermatologists clinically tested cruelty free okay we know we love a good cruelty free and it's in a different language on the other side. Okay. So we love it cosmetics here, but we're going to go ahead and just throw this away now that we've got this out and let's go ahead and pump this on. My hands are clean. This is like a little moosey kind of <laughs> trying to escape. All right. This is what it looks like. Let's get it on. So how's everybody's week going? I hope your weeks are going good. Mom is interesting. As you can tell, I did my nails. They're all spooky. If you haven't seen them on Instagram, there's some spooky nails. Big thing about doing your under eyes is you really, really, really want to make sure that they're hydrated. Okay, so we're gonna do foundation first. I think I'm gonna just like mix it up a little bit today. Moving on, I'm taking a different shade of a foundation that I've already tried. It is the Urban Decay Na Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation up to 24 hour wear. I tried this before in a different shade and it was not my shade and not even close. It was not even close. It was not even close to my shade. So I got went and got this, and this is in the shade 40 CP. And then I also have the 40 NN. Now, yes, I'm aware that this is neutral, neutral, and this is cool pink. But I have been completely obsessed with this, and it has not even, it's not like a completely full coverage kind of foundation, but it's not like a medium, it's like in between. I don't know, I can't explain it. And you can build it up. And it feels so good, so I've been kind of obsessed. So I was like, let me give this another go in this shade. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Real Techniques Body and Face Blender. And yeah, I'm just gonna pump this on the back of my hands. Remember what I tell you about keeping everything clean? Yeah, let's keep it all clean, okay? Hands clean, face clean. You always wanna make sure they're all clean before. 
and pounce this all over my face. Oh yeah, that's a much better shade for me. But yeah, I mean, so good, right? I definitely like it in this color much better. Before I was like, oh no, that's not my color. And then, you know, when you don't have a color, when your color doesn't match, it can make up, mess up your entire concept of what you like about the foundation. Obviously, this is much better match for me. I mean, really a much, much better match. I have been just loving how this lays down with this Real Techniques brush. I think this is, what, what number is this? This is the Deluxe Crease Brush is actually what it is. And it lays down so beautifully. And then I just take my Camo Concealer, little spongy poo, and just tap out the rest. So let's go ahead and get started with concealer. Again, adorable doe foot. Been totally obsessed with this. If you need a little bit more coverage, don't be scared to use it. And I like to use concealer on my nose because my nose does not like to hold foundation. Just, we're just going to add a little extra today, okay? Just add extra. There's nothing wrong with that. And let's blend. right I love this little guy it's super it's not very expensive but I just adore it and it gets right in there I have to wash it all the time because I use it so much but now we are blended in for setting powder today I'm going to go ahead and use the Kat Von D lock it I have not used this in a very long time and I found it in my drawer and I was like time to bring this girl back out so let's go ahead and especially set down our under eyes now today since I am look look girl still has her lid on there we go I love having this little lid it's perfect take it dump a little bit in here I'm gonna sit this down Today we are going to have to bake some because of the fact that I'm doing my eyes after. First, you wanna take your little blender, whatever you're using, and make sure there is no creases. None, nada, you don't want any, cause this is fixing to set it all into place. Get some down and just tap it right across right across tap tap tappy and then to finish up setting my face I'm going to take my heavenly Lux brush in number 14 I don't know why I always have to look at this but I do and I'm gonna dump a little bit more of the same KVD beauty lock it and I'm gonna dip it in there tap off any extra because we're not baking this area and just buff it in Buff it into your neck, buff it into all of the areas that you have foundation on your face. All right, I don't usually bake, you guys know that, but because I put my foundation on first, I wanna make sure that any fallout that happens from my eyeshadow, that it does not get in, on my foundation and mess it up. That's the only time I usually bake. Today we're gonna go ahead and try a new brow product, okay? This may not be new to you guys, but this is definitely new to me because like I said, I'm shopping my stash. This is the Morphe Brow Cream and it is in chocolate mousse. It comes in this little container and it says blend the rules on the outside and it comes in a little pot like this and it has the name on the back. This is how much product you get in it, nice decent amount and I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12 brush we all know I love this 
and we're just going to go ahead and start doing some brows. Let's see how emollient this is. Okay, this is a true pomade. It's not heavily, like in some products like cream pots and things like that, you can literally stick your brush straight through it if you're not careful. This one is a little bit harder, which is exactly what you want in a pomade. Also, with a pomade, I usually take the back of the lid, make sure it's clean, and go ahead and just put it on your brows. I'm going to brush my brows up today. We are just doing things a little different today. Brush them upwards, and I'm gonna start underneath on the outer three-fourths. Really good color. I really like that color a lot. That's so good. And I'm going to go ahead and start filling it in. Just the outermost portions of it, keeping the front not filled in. One thing I really love about pomades is they can be like smeared in a way very easily um, before they dry down, of course. Very nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and draw in the front. Some people like a guide, so if you would like a guide, go ahead and just lightly touch to the front and then you'll have a little line to guide you. I'm taking the side of my brush and just flicking upwards. Then taking my spoolie and running it through. Get rid of any harsh lines and then you have your brow that's done. I really like this stuff. It's really nice. It goes on lovely. And the pigment is there and it's just it's just really beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead off camera and do this eyebrow because we know I can take forever doing eyebrows. That'll take up the whole video and I'll be right back. So I have both brows done and let me tell you what. Um, yeah, love it. Fantastic, can't say enough good things about this, wow. The color is perfect. I mean, it's stellar. It really is. And I have brows. <laughs> and we know I don't usually have brows. All right. So, yeah, this is going in the everyday pile. Okay. And uh, we can get started on the eyes. All right. And I went ahead and added a little bit of NYX glue into my brows and also primed my lids with the Too Faced um, eyeshadow primer. And now we're going to dip into this gorgeous palette by Ace Beauty. It is called the Nostalgia Palette. Open it up. I'm going to flip it upside down so you're not blinded by some light. And look at these shades. Are they just, just gorgeous? Aren't they just gorgeous? They were giving me some fall vibes, some Christmassy, some also some summery. I mean, cause it's got a little bit of everything in this palette and I really wanted to try this. So I think we're gonna have some fun with this palette today. And let's get started with this. First things first, I want to dip into Beach. Beach is, Beach is this color right here. I'm gonna use it as a nice transition shade. And I'm using it on a Morphe brush that I don't know the name number two, but 
I'm gonna go, it's part of that gold collection. I'm gonna go ahead and just add it right up here. What a perfect transition shade. I'm gonna go ahead and set that brush down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this base shadow brush by Real Techniques, and we are gonna dip in to Theme Park. Yeah, we're going there. And we're gonna start stamping it. We're stamping it down. We're taking this color. We are, we are. Now that we have this mostly down, I want to take a more dense brush. Again, this is from that same pack. As you can tell, they match. I'm sorry, I don't have the name, but I'm sure you can find a packing brush. Look, I still can't get that orange out of this brush. Or brush. I'm gonna take this green on this brush. It's called Theme Park, remember? And we're gonna tap it down. Sometimes you just want a little bit of a denser brush to get that color down a little bit more. Okay, now we're going back with the brush that we had the transition shade on and we're dusting it over the edges. We did not add any extra product, we just wanna dust right over those edges. We already know this color is not gonna blend fully into this. At least that's not the look I'm going for. I just want it a little softened, just a little bit. I'm not worried about over here yet. Just soften the edge a little bit. See how it's just ever so slightly softer? Moving right along, we're gonna use our Luxie 231 brush with this beautiful purple shade called Carnival. And we're gonna put it on the outside corner of the eye. Tapping off any excess. I'm trying to cut down on any type of fallout. We're stamping, stamping. When you stamp, you lay down the product and it becomes more pigmented in that area. That's what I want. Stamp, stamp, stamp. See? Okay, now that I have that area stamped down. I'm going to take it one more time and I just want to deepen it up just a little bit right on the edge there. Do you see what I mean? Take that brush that you started with with the color beach and blend out these edges up here. Not adding extra product. Just blend them. See how far back my hand is? I'm not putting a lot of pressure. This palette is so beautiful. All of Ace Beauty's palettes are gorgeous. If you haven't had a chance to pick up one, grab one, they're gorgeous. The first one I ever got was the Essentials palette. I think that's what it's called, the essentials or something like that, or the something along those lines. And I have not regretted any Ace Beauty palette ever. We're not taking it too far. We're not messing it up. We're not making it muddy. That's an important thing too. Mm -hmm. We're gonna dig into our brushes. And we're gonna grab a really dense brush and this is my Morphe M431 brush. You see how dense it is like a pencil and don't blow off your palette unless it's your palette. Okay. If you're a makeup artist, y'all know better, but it's my palette. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and you know, I really wanted to use every single color in this palette, but I'm trying to keep it kind of simple so that we're not going crazy. 
And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the purple carnival and I'm also going to take theme park, but I'm going to work them across the eye just like they are on my lid. So let's go ahead and get started with that. First, I'm taking the carnival. I want to take a different type of brush. You can use another pencil brush or whatnot. I'm just going to take this other one. Again, this one goes along with these that I don't actually have the numbers to, but I know you can find them with Morphe. It's just they will have a number to them. Dip into Theme Park, which is the same teal color that I used on my eyes, and just join them together. Get hitting those lash lines, okay? So now we have an actual like shape, and we're gonna go ahead and use something new. It's new to me. I don't know if it's new to y'all, but it's the Super Pomade Eyeliner, Shadow, and Brow Pigment. And this is in the shade Granite 80 by KVD Beauty. Let's get this sucker open. I'm bad about opening boxes. Like I've just torn this one up. I love a product that is multitasking. This says long wear, waterproof, and high pigment you know that they're cruelty free and vegan. And I, you know I love all KVD Beauty. I wanted to try this out because I wanted to try it as a liner. If I can open it, there we go. Again, it's got the beautiful etching on the top and that's what it looks like inside. That's really pretty. That's a lot of product. That's a big pot of product, great. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and grab, let's see if I have this same brush. You know, when you buy brushes, you end up getting the same brush. Well, I've never used this brush, so I'm wondering if it's the same brush as this <clears throat> before I open a new one, right? 250, 250, this is the same brush that I have right here. You think like you're getting a new brush and then you're not. <laughs> okay, go ahead and dip into it. Ooh, that's a different consistency. See, let's see, let's see how you, this is more malleable than a regular pomade. That's why it has so many uses. And I'm gonna go ahead and just etch out the side of my eye. Lobster mirror in hand. That is really beautiful and really pigmented. Now, to add a little wing there, not a big one, just a little one on the outer corner, I grabbed this collab that Dojo Cat did with BH Cosmetics, and this is a liner. It says BH Cosmetics Dojo Cat Goddess, and this is in the shade, I have no idea. <laughs> in the shade black and it says calligraphy eyeliner which usually means you can use it as a graphic eyeliner beautiful tip the kind of tip that I love it's like this flexible like brush let's see let's see the flexible brush flexible brush it's like a I can't explain the type of brush but these are my favorite types of brush and I'm gonna go ahead and add a little wing starting at the outside corner of my eye and I'm just gonna go ahead and straight, go straight out, okay? Ooh, that's good pigment, the fantastic. I knew I was gonna love it because one, I love BH Cosmetics and two, I love all makeup. Let's just be real, <laughs> I love all makeup. But the tip of this is my favorite kind of tips to liners. And I'm gonna take this and just slant it towards and connect and color in. I love it. It's perfect. 
fantastic. <laughs> and I'm going to fiddle with it a little bit more. One thing that is fantastic about these types of brushes is that you can get in and barely touch the line and it will actually line it for you. You see how far back I'm holding this? I'm not way up here. No, I don't need that. This does the work for you. And there's no kind of bleeding into the skin. What I mean by bleeding is when a liner, you put on a liner and it spreads. You don't want that. That's, that's not going to be the liner that works for you. Okay, this does not bleed. Look at that. It's gorgeous. I'm just going to grab my LA Girl Shockwave liner. And this is in the shade neon. It's a neon eyeliner. It's in the shade Vivid. Okay, thought it looked really nice with this uh, purpley situation we have on the outside. So I'm just going to go ahead and line. I'm actually not going to bring it all the way across because this is teal. I can't remember if I have teal or not. I think I have blue, but I'm going to line the outskirts of this. I'm going to go ahead and just lightly tug. You don't want to age your eyes. Love, 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 love it. <clears throat> All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and finish the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. All right, now both eyes are done to this point. They are caught up to each other. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. Always good to curl our lashes, open them up. You don't have to have wild eyeliner or mascara or eyeshadow or any of that. Just have fun with it. Today I'm going to be using the Milani Most Wanted Lashes. I've never used this before. Again, I'm shopping my stash. Let's see what this says. Lavish Lift and Curl Mascara. Built for Speed Brush. Fearless Force Formula. Okay. Sounds like a fun mascara to me. Let's go ahead and open this up. Give you that nice little click. Sounds so good. Beautiful brush. I love these kind of brush applicators. And let's go ahead and tap off the little extra mascara formula at the end. And let's apply this. Back combing, which means we do the top and the bottom. Or the top and the underneath, however you want to put it. Coat those lashes. Beautiful. I love the blackness of this. The depth. It looks really good. Really sticks out. All right, let's dip in again and go for a second coat. Again, we're going to tap off that end so we don't get it all over our eyes. And we're going to do a second coat. Wiggle, wiggle. That is real. Okay, I'm not gonna put on any falsies. No falsies today. This is just two dips into the actual container and I mean, I actually have lower lashes. <laughs> wow. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Now to finish up this eye look, I'm going to take this hot pink shade called Picnic and I'm going to pop it right in the corner of my eyes. I'm using a 
packing brush just like the others. You could use it as a blending or packing, but I'm just like feeling this. Just stick it right in there, just pack it on. Because I want more payout from that pink that I placed there, I'm actually going to take my very small little brush and I'm gonna grab my Milani setting spray and I'm just gonna spray the brush. And I'm gonna dip into the very corner of that pink and just tapping it right in. So I'm gonna go ahead and use something that I have used before and I really love it, but I thought that the blush and everything would go really well with this eye look. And this is my Wander Beauty Trip for Two. And this is the blush and bronzer. And this bronzer is called Tulum and the blush is called Daiquiri. I thought it was really great to kind of go with this look. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my Luxie 515 or 514 blush brush and dip right on into that and start up here and just kind of work my way down. Do you see how bright this blush is? Now you see why I picked it. Sometimes you want to go full nude if you have like a bright color like this on your eyes or you want to just embrace it. I'm gonna warm up the rest of my face with this. And then I'm gonna go right over my nose just ever so slightly. Give it a little love. A little bit, I haven't dipped back in, I'm just using what's on my brush. See how it brings the look together? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and use this to warm up my face as in bronzing and contouring. I'm not doing a heavy contour. I'm going to take my big fluffy brush and you can tell I use it for a bronzer because it's permanently that color. It's a powder brush by Real Techniques. I'm dipping into this. And the thing about bronzer is when you're trying to just warm up your face, you want to use a light hand and just kind of go around Now, of course, with a look like this, you can't forget highlighter. I'm gonna go ahead and take this Super Shock Cheek Pearlized Guilty Pleasure. I used this in another video and really, really loved it. And if I, why does this take so hard to open? Gosh. Okay, this is their, like a highlighter. And I can't explain the textures of these. I've tried to, but like look it's like gel like putty but i don't know and all i know is it's pigmented and i love it so i'm gonna just use my finger and i'm just gonna hit the high points of my face and then blend it high points blend it you see that giving me a nice little highlight without being too crazy See, nice little glow. Tap it on my brow bone. Tap, tap, tap. Blend softly. Nice. Again, bridge of my nose. Okay, blend out. Come down. Remember, we're not putting a huge color, like a big douse of it on our nose, because we, we really, we look, if y'all want me to do that for Christmas and look like Rudolph, I'll do it. But <laughs> remember, anything you highlight will protrude out. If you accentuate certain areas, it's going to accentuate things and make them look much bigger than what they are. It's what highlighter does. Even on paper, when you use paper highlight, you know, like highlighters that you use for your paper. Um, think about it. When you highlight that, it brings out the answer. Okay, keep that in mind. That's highlighter, that's what it does. 
think I'm just going to do like a nude lip because of all of this going on. For lip liner today, I'm going to use a lip liner that I've never used. I love their liners, so I wanted to try the lip liner. This is the Shockwave Lip Liner by LA Girl in the color in the color gingerbread, and I just have never used it. Their liners, so well, lip liners that is. I use their eyeliners all the time. That's nice. This is the Epic Kiss lipstick by KBD Beauty and this is in the shade She Defined. This is the shade She Defined. And I'm going to go ahead and just fill in my lips. Figure nude with this really peacocky eye. Oh yeah, I think I've adapted that, adapted that name for this. It's peacocky eye. Okay, so yeah. Do what I normally do. Finish this up. Sometimes I'll fix my hair up and all this stuff. You'll see me in different pictures, you know, like I'll fix my, I'll poof it up or something, tease it some to make it look bigger, fuller. But as for right now, this is the final look with the face, the cheeks, the makeup, the everything. I love it. I hope you guys did too. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Just remember, don't let nobody tilt your crown because you're amazing. Makeup can cover up a whole lot of imperfections that are physical on your face. But if you're not beautiful on the inside, chances are it's gonna come through on the outside. I know you know people like that, they're gorgeous, fabulous, magnificent, but then when you talk to them and you get to know them, it's different. Don't be one of those people. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Stay healthy. Love y'all. See you in the next video.